Go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Towhill and I'm a professional boxer and I'm here talking with Boxing News today. Okay. Hey Erin, so, so how excited are you to have been in MMA and boxing and what's, what has that contrast been for you? Both sports. Um, I started my first fight actually, let me, long story short, first fight was 1999. So I've been in this game a long time. I'm 41 years old right now. I just had my 27th pro fight. Um, I did half boxing and half MMA. So I was the first woman in the world to be ranked in the top five in two sports at the same time, which was pretty pretty amazing thing to accomplish. Um, later on, I retired from boxing to focus on MMA, and and then I just. I retired, took some time off, about eight or nine years, and then recently had a fight, wanted to come back, kind of test myself, really just, really back in it to just have some fun. So I'm ready to see what's next, and, and I'm just here for, you know, see what the journey is going to bring. How, how did your last fight go? <laughs> well, um, the, the overall consensus of my last fight was that I won. I fought a very tough opponent, Maricela Cornejo. Um, She's a great competitor. I think it was a really exciting fight. We did an eight round fight up in um, Hollywood for 360 promotions. And the overall consensus was that I won. And, and that's boxing sometimes. You know, there's a lot of, we know, a lot of politics in it. And all I can do is hopefully get a rematch in the future. Her and I talked about that. And just keep winning, keep training, do what I need to do. Um, speak in the ring. I don't, I don't need to go out there and do anything else but my job and that's fighting what was the decision in the ring because I know everybody the consensus was that you won what was right. the what was the decision by the referee I think two judges had me wanting winning one round out of eight and she won seven a second the third judge I think was much nicer and gave me two rounds but overall was I won six out of eight she won two and you know, what what can we say? We know boxing and this unfortunately this is how it is and what's next? What's next for me? Uh, what's next is I'm fighting May eighteenth. I'm fighting at um uh, Bervoy Engelbrecht and that's at Hawaiian Gardens. Um I don't know, I think it's gonna be a six round fight. I'm just excited, same thing. Just keep training. Do what I need to do. I have a great team. Labrado's my coach. I have a great second, um, and just and just stay ready. Stay ready. That's the biggest thing. Stay you know, ready. Staying huh? ready. Yes. For the future, where would you like to be? In the future. So, I'm getting a second go at this, which is in many sports very very rare. Um, the second time around with for me is it's fun now. I have no pressure. I have a lot of pressure back then. Things things were different. Now, um, I'd like to get a couple more wins and solidify a, a higher ranking in in you know the junior middleweight, and of course, get a title shot. And that's what all fighters want to do. You know, I had title shots back when I fought Layla. We did the WBC, the IBA, um, IBF rather. And I'd like to do that again and get myself up in the rankings and get those type of shots. Did you fight Layla yes. Ali? You fought, fought Layla, Layla Ali? So her and I fought in 2005. I fought her on the Mike Tyson undercard. We fought for the first women's WBC title for super middleweight. Um, and then this is obviously 12, 13 years ago. So, so, so the second title was, I think, um, the international boxing folk. I can't remember, but it's another comparable, very big title. But her and I fought for the first ever women's WBC title. How many rounds? Ten. But Did it went it went three. She broke my nose in the first round. Um, and there was like a couple seconds left in the third, and it was just she beat me, you know. But I fought a lot of very good women when I fought. Um, never turned a fight down. I fought Jackie Frazier. Her and I got a no contest. She had butted me and then never gave me a rematch. Um, I signed to fight Ann Wolf back in the day. We, her and I, legend. That woman is, you know, one, the one that never got to fight Ali. 
which is kind of a shame. Anybody knows her. But we decided to do a six fight or a, a six round fight. This is 2003, something like that. And um, we did the weigh-ins. We did everything. And like 10 minutes before we were supposed to walk out, the commission came back. There was issue. Her and I never fought. Probably a good thing because she was knocking every woman out back then. She's savage. Um, but I have a lot of good, you know, women on my resume. And now I get to do a second time around. Do it the right way. Take my time. I already went in there and fought the best. I don't have to rush. And I just want to... Uh, again, see through the hard work and going up the ladder, see what I can do. And timing is everything. And what would you like to say to all your fans that support oh, you? Thank you. I do. You know what? The one thing, because I do have a lot of fans that have stuck with me over the years in both sports, in MMA, and even though I did pro boxing, um, I really was always known as an MMA fighter for whatever reason because you know two autonomous sports I think I've made another impact with boxing. I've gained a lot of new fans some who knew me from when I fought and And new ones and I'm really just happy that they're supporting me supporting women's boxing um, And I'm really excited to be here and please just keep following my journey and if you want to follow me my Instagram is Aaron.fights um, I have Facebook as well, Aaron Tohill, T is in Tom, O-U-G-H-I-L-L, -L. and um, just see what I'm doing, follow my journey and support me, I really appreciate it. Awesome, Aaron. Hey, I, I'm so proud of you. I really am excited about your new journey. Yeah, me too. Back into the game. Absolutely. And you know what? You can. Yes. You can be a champion again. Yes. You can't. I'm doing it. You can't give up hope. No. Never. No. And I think so. that's what we need to say to the fans or anybody. It's like you, people thought because of my age, oh, she's going to go in there, get her butt kicked. Watch. I'll show you. Watch. You know?